Welcome to Mid-South Outdoor Life, the channel dedicated to an active outdoor lifestyle, bringing you content like blue cat fishing videos, mountain biking and hiking videos, flathead cat fishing videos, we'll do some high performance watercraft reviews, some blue cat fishing tips and tricks videos, gotta do truck and ATV reviews, some bass fishing videos, we'll even do some monster blue cat fishing videos, some motorcycle and dirt bike reviews, some hunting and firearm reviews, and we'll get back to that monster blue cat fishing because we love blue cat fishing on this channel. The point is, if any or all of these topics interest you, you should look below the screen and click that subscribe button so that you don't miss a thing. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, this is Quentin with Mid-South Outdoor Life, and you are watching my video review of the 2017 and 2018 Ford F-150 with the second generation 3.5 EcoBoost engine and the new 10-speed transmission. I do a lot of towing with my vehicle. In fact, 60% of my miles are towing a trailer. In that time, I've developed some pretty strong opinions, both good and bad about this truck, and I'm gonna share them with you now. As you can see on the screen, this 2017 F-150 has the new 3.5 EcoBoost, the 10-speed transmission, 355 gears, the Max Trailer Towing Package, and the Pro Trailer Backup Assist. As you probably noticed in the opening moments of this video, I tow all sorts of things with my truck. From tractors, to boats, motorcycles and ATVs, uh, jet skis, both double and single, you name it, I'm dragging it around. However, by far, the thing that I haul the most is the boat that you see in the picture. I put over 17,000 highway miles on that package last season alone. I'll probably do the same this year. So for the majority of this video, when you hear me referencing power or braking or, or whatever it is that we're talking about, I'm probably talking about hauling that specific package. However, in addition to hauling that package with this truck, I've actually hauled it with a number of other vehicles as well. I've hauled it with the Dodge Ram 1500, two other F-150s, a Chevy Avalanche, and even a Honda Ridgeline. So I feel like I've got a pretty good basis of comparison when I talk about both good and bad in the way that this truck handles that package. Here are the specifics on that load. The total length is 24 feet, total width is 8 feet, total height is 11 feet, and the total package weight runs between 3,100 pounds and 3,800 pounds, depending on how much gear is on board. There's a lot of wind drag though, so quite honestly, it's like towing significantly more weight when it comes to mileage and, and how much load is on the transmission while going down the highway. It's time to get to it, and here's how this review is gonna work. First, I'm gonna give you all the bad stuff, all the things that I'm gonna rate with a thumbs down. After we cover that, then I'll go over the good stuff and give those a thumbs up. I'm not gonna hold anything back, and here we go. Starting things off underneath the truck, in an absolutely ridiculous and almost embarrassing thumbs down, Ford has decided to keep things straight out of the early 1900s with a solid axle leaf spring suspension. I don't know what kind of drunken special ed reject continues to sign off on this engineering marvel year after year, but come on Ford, you need to step it up. Even Dodge has a cool spring rear end, which quite frankly is still outdated, but why don't we go full independent? Something like the Chevy Avalanche or the Honda Ridgeline, both deliver a ride that is far superior to this and they support cargo and trailering loads better. Case in point, I towed my uh, fishing boat with a Honda Ridgeline for 17,000 miles. That's a pretty heavy load, it's pretty tongue heavy, but that Ridgeline supported that load sagging only one inch. This Ford, the big tough Ford, rated at 12,000 pounds towing, sags three and a half inches with the exact same load, and the ride is pitiful. So once again, huge thumbs down for Ford on the rear suspension when it comes to towing, or pretty much anything else. I'm here at the back of the truck with a huge thumbs down. Some penny pincher from Ford decided to put the location for the safety chains way up underneath the truck. I'm standing here close enough to touch the chains, touch the pin coupler, touch the lights, 
but I have to reach way up underneath the truck to even begin to get to where you attach these chains. Now to help aid in this, I added this big loop on both sides to put the chains. But if you're an older person with maybe some knee problems or back problems, like right now I'm actually down on my knees to be able to get to this, this would be a huge problem, completely unnecessary, completely stupid on Ford's part in my opinion. Every other truck that I've had, you could tie, you could put the chain somewhere out here, close to the pin, you know, somewhere, something that you could actually see. You're not going to see this unless you're literally on your hands and knees with your head upside down, looking way up under the truck. So stupid and needs to be addressed. Many of you have probably heard about and may be wondering about the Pro Trailer Backup Assist feature. I've thought long and hard about this, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a thumbs down. I'm giving it a thumbs down because, in my opinion, it's no more than a gimmick. It really only does one thing well, and that is straighten a trailer and hold it straight. Everything else, you still have to use your brain for just like you would if this knob weren't there. It doesn't work the brake, it doesn't work the gas, it doesn't keep you from hitting anything, it doesn't give you additional sensors to make the job easier, all it does is work the wheel for you. The idea is that you turn this knob toward the mirror that you want the trailer to go to. You still have to be looking in both mirrors, you still have to do everything that you normally have to do. Plus, you have to learn how to speak the language of this knob. If you already know how to back up a trailer, this is more confusing than just backing up a trailer. That being said, it does do one thing well, keep the trailer straight. In particular, if you have a trailer that's small, maybe it's really low to the ground or really narrow, like right now, I have a jet ski hooked to the truck, and you'll notice you can't see it because it's a single jet ski. If it were two jet skis, you'd be able to see it, but it's one, so you can't see it all at all. So I'm gonna do my best to show you what this will do rather well, and that's straighten that trailer and keep it straight. To simulate a long boat ramp or a long driveway, I'm gonna use that row of parking spaces. So I'm gonna pull forward well ahead of that, and then I'm gonna back the jet ski into that row, and then giving the trailer absolutely no input, just letting go of the knob, the Pro Trailer Backup Assist is gonna drive the trailer straight down through there with no effort from me, not having to search back and forth in my mirrors. There we go, putting it in reverse. Gonna hold the camera with my left hand, turn the knob with my right hand. Turning the knob, you see the trailer starting to go. Again, this still takes some thinking. Unlike, you know, some of the systems out there that will like parallel park a vehicle and things like that. This doesn't do all of that for you. Which is why I think it's a bit gimmicky. Again, I'm handy with a trailer, so it's not a big deal. But if you're buying a, a truck and you think that the Pro Trailer Backup Assist is going to make you a pro at a trailer, you're going to find out real quick that you're wrong. See that wheel going wild? I'm not doing anything. It's straightening that trailer for me. Now, the trailer's driving nice and straight down this boat ramp. I can speed up. I just feel it's important when I give a review that it be really honest and I point out the bad and the good. So here we go with the good. Here's a thumbs up for you. The mirrors. Now this truck just has standard mirrors on it. Not those ridiculously long tow mirrors that you see every 17 year old in the Dodge running around with. Just regular mirrors. But I'm pulling an 8 foot wide load. You can see it sticks out a lot farther than the truck. But I can see perfectly. 
I mean, really, you can almost see down the outer edge of that of those pontoons, the standard mirror. So I think they did a good job on picking the size of these mirrors. Here's a thumbs up that I really like. The information that's available about your trailer. Not only can you track which trailer you're hauling and how many miles that you have on it, like as you can see, I've hauled this particular trailer 3,400 miles since I've had this truck. Uh, but you can, um, you can do system checks, like you can tell, it'll tell you if you have a light out, it'll tell you exactly which light it is. Um, you can run through a checklist, uh, you know, just all kinds of little things that, that, this, that this system will tell you that I've never seen before. I'm sure there's plenty of other trucks that have something similar, but this is the first I've seen of it, and I think it's a big thumbs up, uh, especially to know when you have a trailer uh, light that might be out. Here's a biggie. The engine and transmission. That's why you tuned in, right? Well, I'm excited to talk about this one because I think it's absolutely fantastic. Major thumbs up on the way the 3.5 EcoBoost, the second gen 3.5 EcoBoost, I should point out, and this 10 speed work together. I'm super critical when it comes to a transmission. Whenever I buy a new vehicle, that's the first thing that I'm critiquing uh, when it comes to, to power is how does that transmission work with that engine. Um, this 10 speed is phenomenal, both in everyday situations and towing. The shift points, Ford nailed them. Uh, you know, I, I pull everything from uh, my boat, other people's boats, to tractors, dirt bikes, and all just a wide variety of things. I've not found a point in which um, I thought this truck struggled to do the job, but also just do it happily in harmony. Uh, we've always got the, the right RPM. You know, so many gears to choose from. It's always in the right gear. There's always power. I just pulled double jet skis through Miami and Atlanta in heavy traffic and I always felt like I had plenty of power to zip in and out of traffic. No matter what gear it was in, the throttle was always responsive and I could get through that traffic safely. Um, right now I'm pulling my pontoon, 3,500 pounds, 8 foot wide, I'm pulling it through the hills south of the town that I, that I live in engines purring along in seventh gear at 1500 rpm uh, 55 miles an hour um, I cannot complain about this engine and transmission combination I think they're phenomenal uh, you know I've towed all the way up to about 10,400 pounds um, it handled it great was there a lot of load there sure there was but there was a lot of power there the torque that this engine makes is very much like a diesel couldn't be happier with it. Engine and transmission get a huge thumbs up. And if you like to listen to turbos, I don't know how many other EcoBoosts are this way. You know, this is the second gen 3.5 EcoBoost uh, that just came out in 2017. Lots of turbo sound when you're towing, and I love that. Um, it's, it's music to my ears. So, thumbs up forward on the engine and transmission. So. Here's another big one. The tow haul mode. While I'm not crazy about where the button is located, which is down low on the left side of the shifter, I think that's bad placement for that. But the tow haul mode on this is exponentially better than any transmission I've ever driven before. You know, back in the day, 15 years ago, a tow haul mode, let's just say on a Silverado, all that really did was hold your shift points out. It really wasn't doing much for you. This, on the other hand, completely changes the transmission. It changes the shift points, uh, changes the power delivery just a little bit. But what's really cool is the way it does engine braking. This truck knows if it's pointed downhill, or if it's pointed uphill, or neutral. And it will change the engine braking depending on that. So if it senses that I want a little bit of braking, and I happen to be going downhill, man, it starts dropping those gears really aggressive to use the engine to help slow the truck down to help keep from brake fade from the brakes getting hot. Uh, if it's going uphill, very little, if any, engine braking. 
So it's a really smart system that works just so much better than anything I've ever seen. So tow haul mode on this truck, a major thumbs up. Here's an eight foot wide, 3,500 pound load up a hill with the little V6. No joke, folks. That was spinning through second gear. That about wraps it up for my F-150 towing review video. If you happen to be interested in any of the other topics that you saw in the intro to this video, consider subscribing to my channel as I upload often. Thanks for watching.